Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Nigel Short and Alex Lopez. This is the game from the European Union Championship that was played in Liverpool, England in 2008. Nigel Short had white pieces and he started with e4. Alex Lopez played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to b5. Short was waiting for a long time to play Lopez opening against Lopez. Black to move. Knight to f6. Lopez goes for the Berlin defense. Did you know that Kasparov struggled against Kramnik's Berlin defense? White to move. Castling kingside, d3, and knight to c3 are the three most played moves. Nigel Short played the queen to e2. Hmm? Instead of castling short, queen to e2, interesting choice. Bishop to c5. C3. Lopez castled kingside. D3. D6. Bishop to G5. Pinning the knight. A6. Attacking the bishop. Bishop to A4. B5. Attacking the bishop again. Bishop to C2. Waiting in the ambush. Queen to E7. Knight from B to D2. Rook to B8. Knight to F1. H6. Bishop to h4, g5. Bishop to g3. Did you notice that the white didn't cast the king's side? Hmm? So h4 is on the menu. But short is not in a hurry. Because the bishop may be coming to g4. And he wants to play h3 d5 white dinner castle so opening files make sense knight to e3 d4 attacking the knight knight to d5 black to move black queen is under attack queen to d8 of course knight takes knight was considered then e takes on d5, and after knight to d8, queen takes pawn. After queen takes, bishop takes, does rook to e8 work? It doesn't, because of castling. So, we have a queen to d8. Bishop to b3. White the castle. But the center is closed. So white king is quite safe on e1. Pawn takes pawn on c3. Naturally, Lopez wants to open files. b takes on c3. Bishop to g4. h3. Bishop takes knight. How about bishop to h5? Is that good? Perhaps then h4 will be played. Okay, the game we have after h3 bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. The pressure is on the knight. The threat is queen or knight takes knight. Black to move. King to g7, defending the knight. Well, what is the alternative? If knight takes on d5, e takes on d5, and let's say knight goes to a5, bishop to c2. Black king looks quite vulnerable. So we have king to g7, h4. Now you can understand why short in the castle king side. 
he has foreseen this position many moves ahead. Knight takes on d5. Well, g4 comes to mind, then queen to f5 and white is still better. So we have knight takes on d5. Bishop takes on d5, attacking the knight. Knight attacks the bishop. White to move. White. Play the move and black designed. Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Do you see this brilliant queen sacrifice? Hmm? No? I don't see it neither. The move was quite ordinary. H takes on g5. Lopez resigned. If knight takes on d5, which looks very natural, then g takes on h6, check, king to h8, e takes on d5, black is two pawns down in a bad position. The other line goes like this. h takes on g5, then bishop takes on e5, check, f6, queen to h5, and there is no sensible defense against queen to h7, check, mate. That was brilliantly played game by Nigel Short. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.